uh, Benjamin Evans, and he is a training team faculty member and team rep. He is sponsored by Automatic. So everything that you know that's part of learn.wordpress.org, um, he'll share us a lot of information about that, like um, what is the past, what's the current status, what's the future. Um, that's not all. He's going to explain us a lot more about something that is called learning pathways. I'm personally really excited about that. So please help me welcome to the stage Benjamin Evans. Hello, everyone. Minasan, konnichiwa. I'm from Japan. I'm Ben, and I look forward, I've been looking forward to introducing the Learn WordPress website and our new type of content, Learning Pathways, with you. So thank you for joining this session, um, and let's, let's, let's dive into it. So there are a few buttons on this. Am I pushing the right one? Nope. Nope. <laughs> You'll remember me as the person who couldn't move through the slides. <laughs> this one, all right. There we go. All right. So, hi. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, I'm Ben, um, and I am a community education manager at Automatic. I have been um, working at Automatic for five years now. I became a training team representative last year. Um, in the training team, um, training team reps uh, represent the team for two years. Um, so, I'm the rep for 2020. 2023 and 2024, and I built my first WordPress website in 2014. So this year marks my 10th anniversary using WordPress. Um, so that's a pretty big milestone for me. Um, the WordCamp organizing committee has uploaded everybody's slides to the um, schedule on the homepage. So if you go there, you'll be able to download the slides already, follow along. Um, you can find me on social media with B. San Evans. Um, I tweeted my slides there a moment ago as well. So if you connect there, you'll be able to follow along with the slides um, right now through this presentation. All right. So Learn WordPress is one of the most exciting projects in WordPress that you could get involved with today. Now, there are 23 teams in the WordPress project. Each team looks after multiple different projects and initiatives. But I am here to tell you that trainings, Learn WordPress project is the most exciting, most rewarding, and has the biggest impact on the future of WordPress. So hopefully in the next 30 minutes, you'll be able to understand that, and um, you'll join us in making Learn, Press, Learn WordPress even better. So I want to start off by giving you a big picture goal of what Learn WordPress is. In January this year, Matt Mullenweg, the co-founder of WordPress, published a blog post um, on the WordPress official blog. And he mentioned there are four big gateways that bring people into the WordPress community. Now, what we're, when we say community here, what we're talking about is the center blue circle you see. So the big red circle represents the broad user base of WordPress. So everybody in the world who touches WordPress, they are in that red circle. In the blue circle, these are the people who contribute to WordPress, maintain WordPress, and in a sense, evangelize WordPress to the world. So if you attend a local meetup, if you attend a WordCamp like you're doing right now, you are part of the blue circle WordPress community. And um, there are many different ways people move in from the red circle into the blue circle, but there are four major gateways that Matt introduced in January this year. They were the Five for the Future initiative, internationalization, data liberation, and learn WordPress. So I won't go into too much detail, but just to give you a quick overview of what these are, uh, Five for the Future is an invitation for people who benefit from WordPress 
to give back to WordPress. Um, there's a figure, 5%, which is a, a, a goal that we, uh, each company or individual can work towards. But really, whatever time you can give back to build WordPress and make it sustainable um, would, uh, would contribute to the future of WordPress here. Internationalization isn't just the translation of WordPress, but making sure WordPress is available in all of its forms to all the communities around the world. So not just the software, but the documentation, the support, the events, the community around it, making sure all of this is localized so that anyone anywhere in the world who speaks any language can be part of WordPress. Data liberation is building a, a system where you can get data from one application to another application without getting it locked in. And that's why it's called liberation. So it could be downloading posts from one social media into another platform. It could even just be migrating a WordPress site from one host to another host, but making that seamless. And WordPress being that middleman who can transport your data from one place to another. And finally, we get to learn WordPress. And this is what we're really going to be talking about today. Learn WordPress is a growing education platform, which I'll introduce to you in a moment. Um, and this is what I am really invested in at the moment. And I think there is a huge potential for it to become even greater. All right, so Learn WordPress. Learn WordPress is the website you will find at learn.wordpress.org. You would download WordPress from WordPress.org. So you just add learn at the beginning, learn.wordpress.org. And this is Learn WordPress. The goal of Learn WordPress is to be the go-to resource when learning and teaching about WordPress. So at the moment, if you were to do a, say, Google search, you would find lots of different people in the community with uh, blog posts, with tutorials, with videos, um, introducing WordPress. Um, and these are all great contributions. But sometimes you want to hand your clients or your community resources that don't have that flavor of another company. You want it to be produced by WordPress vanilla WordPress, which you can give to these people. For example, um, say you built a, 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 a website for your client, and you hand that website to them. If they are a very first time WordPress user, you would have to explain to them what posts are, what pages are, how to use the site editor, how they need to edit their content. And if you have multiple clients, you probably do this regularly. Every time you give a new site, you explain the same thing over. Wouldn't it be great if there was, say, an online course produced by WordPress that did all that for you? So you could give that one course to your clients. You don't have to worry about advertising or them getting pulled away to other products. There's this one course produced by WordPress that introduces the basics of WordPress usage to them. Here's another use case. Maybe you're an advanced designer. You have tons of experience designing and you want to use the newest and latest features of WordPress to make your designs even better. Wouldn't it be great if there was a resource you could take as that advanced designer to even level up your design game further? Maybe you have a, a company that extends WordPress, whether it be through plugins or themes, and you hire new developers to work on your team. Wouldn't it be great if there was a resource you could share with them that would take them through the basics, then the intermediate stages, and then the advanced stages of WordPress development? That training new employees takes a lot of time and effort. Wouldn't it be great if there was something on WordPress that did that for you? The answer to all of these is learn WordPress. And what we are building right now answers to each of those needs. Now, before we dive into Learn WordPress a bit more, I also want to introduce the training team. So I am a training team representative. What does the training team do exactly? So the training team, the training team is one of the 23 teams within the WordPress project, and we are tasked with managing the Learn WordPress website and producing content there. The training team has been around longer than I've been using WordPress, actually. Um, they, the team was founded in 2013, and then um, they've been making content for over 10 years now. 
In 2020, the Learn WordPress website was launched and that was entrusted to the training team. And now the training team is preparing a relaunch of the Learn WordPress website scheduled for next month, uh, which will have a brand new design, new site architecture, new content um, catered to the needs of the WordPress community. So when we talk about Learn WordPress, we talk about the website. And we talk, when we talk about the training team, we're talking about the volunteer team behind the website maintaining and building it. All right. So the training team has been around for over 10 years. Let me give just a little bit of history of how Learn WordPress came to be, and that will, um, that will help you understand where we are going from here on. So the history of Learn WordPress. We started as a, a resource for meetup organizers. Um, and then during the COVID pandemic, the main audience changed from instructors to learners. Um, content type has increased, and the site continues to grow. So in 2013, meetup organizers st started to voice a need for fresh content. They'd been hosting local meetups for many years. They were starting to run out of ideas. And they needed new resources to help them continue to uh, teach and grow their local communities. And that's when the training team was formed. So the training team started creating lesson plans. These are printable plans. Where meetup organizers can take, and it gives them somewhere between 15 to 90 minutes of content they could then just host in their meetup and teach people the newest and greatest features of WordPress. So these lesson plans were based on American educational principles, um, and they were hosted on GitHub. Um, this GitHub website, wptrainingteam.github.io, is still live, so you can still go there and see the 100 plus uh, lesson plans the training team created. Um, but these have also all been ported now into the Learn website as well. So you can get the same content from the Learn Web WordPress website directly. So for many years, the training team were creating um, lesson plans for instructors, but then something big happened, the COVID pandemic. The training team was focused on creating content for meetup organizers, but then meetup stopped happening. And so people stopped gathering together, and the need for lesson plans decreased. The WordPress project then realized they needed to create an online learning platform that would fill in the gap, the void that occurred because of the pandemic. People, meetups used to be the primary place people came to learn about WordPress, and that was no longer happening. Um, and so Learn WordPress launched as a place, as a way to replace that, where people can come online and learn, um, continue to learn about WordPress. So the need shifted. The need to produce content for instructors shifted to a need to produce content for learners, and that's how Learn WordPress was born. So between the year 2020 and 2021, the training team started to produce new types of content. These included lesson plans, uh, which are those teaching instructions, um, tutorials, which are five to 10 minute video content, um, online workshops, which are generally an hour long um, interactive live sessions you can attend um, generally via Zoom, and online courses. So as the, as the need grew, the training team started to create more content types and uh, hosted all this on the Learn WordPress website so that's a bit of history, and now we come to Learn WordPress today. So in 2023 alone, the training team continued to publish 31 lesson plans, 78 tutorials, we hosted 274 online workshops, and we published seven new courses. So all up now, the Learn WordPress website hosts 143 lesson plans, um, so you could have more than 100 local meetups with these lesson plans if you want. The ideas are there. We have over 220 tutorial videos, each 5 to 10 minutes long, teaching you some feature or uh, something you can do with WordPress. Online workshops, 274. So that is almost one a day, one every day or two. Um, and, this, and the most... 
the workshop that got the most attendees in 2023 had 161 people in it. And so this was an hour-long interactive session where they could ask questions. Um, and what's good about online workshops is the facilitator isn't necessarily the person who answers all the questions. The people in the session can answer each other's questions, and it's a, a social learning experience. And online courses, there are 29 all up. Um, and so if you were to consume the Learn WordPress content, how long would it take? Currently, if you were to spend one hour a day going through Learn WordPress, consuming some type of content, it would take you six months to go through all the content on Learn WordPress. If you were to watch the online workshop recordings as well, it would take you 14 months to go through the content we host there. So that is a lot of educational content. This year, between January and May, we had uh, 546,000 unique visitors to the Learn WordPress website. Um, I had a look, the population of Turin is about 800,000, 850,000, so we've almost reached the population of Turin visiting our website. Video views, we've had 90,000 video views, we've had 4,700 people enroll in our courses, and each of these content, pieces of content attracting GitHub, in the five months so far, the training team has created 312 GitHub issues, and we've closed 318 issues as well. I know some teams, you feel like you're creating more issues than you're closing them. The training team is somehow staying on top of everything, and we're closing just as much as we're creating. So Learn has a bit of a history. And what we're finding is there are some challenge we're, challenges we're running into. So the Learn WordPress website was put together during the pandemic, and we started adding new types of content. And so our learners are telling us that it's hard to find the content they're actually looking for. So they might be intending to find a video resource, but they end up on a lesson plan. Or they were hoping for an online course, which they could take in their own time, and the content they were looking for was only in an online workshop. And so all these different types of content are confusing our users and making it difficult for them to find what they need. The target audience of the site is also unclear. Because there's a history of where we were making content for instructors and then that moved to learners, it's a bit confusing for people who don't understand that. Um, content topics haven't been curated systematically. So we've sort of been making things that are needed in the moment without having a big picture view of where we want to take our learners. And the site setup makes it difficult to translate content. So what we'd really like to do is produce all this content in multiple languages so you can learn WordPress in your own language. But at the moment, the site setup doesn't really allow that. So Learn WordPress has a huge potential here to bring the WordPress users into the WordPress community, but we need your help to get there. So there are three big visions we have for Learn WordPress. The first one is to create content that addresses the needs of the learners. The second one is to design a site that puts the learner experience first. And the third one is to seek further development based on learner data. So these all seem like typical things, goals you would have when creating a site. And we have the same goals even for the Learn WordPress website as well. There we are. All right. So just to quickly recap, the focus of the site has transitioned. Um, for a long time, it was instructors. Then during the pandemic, as we started to add new content types, the focus was really on the content creators. We were trying to put a process in place where content creators could quickly and easily produce lots of content to meet the big need that was in the community. Um, and, but now we are realizing that Learn WordPress is really there to serve the learner. And so we are shifting our focus and clearly aiming for the learners. It doesn't mean we're still, it, it, we will still create content for instructors. We still want our processes um, to be considerate of content creators, but the focus of Learn is going to be the learner. With the new site redesign we're doing next year, we are actually, actually reducing the types of content on the site as well. So until now, we've had four different content types. We are reducing this to just courses and online workshops. 
Um, this is good for a few reasons. First of all, it makes site maintenance a lot easier. If you have less content types, you have to monitor and update. But it also makes it easier for the user because it'll be, they, are, they know what they can expect when they search for the content they're looking for. And then we come to content focused on learner growth. And this, this is where we take, I take us all back to the few examples I shared at the beginning. Um, if you're an agent who builds a site and you want to give resources to your clients that help them understand the basics of user, uh, WordPress, or if you're a designer who wants to level up in designer skills. Learn WordPress and the training team have identified that the biggest need the WordPress community has is to move in their skill knowledge from one level to another. So we, beginners want to become intermediates. Intermediates want to become experts. And until now, we've really been creating content that meets an immediate need in the moment. We are shifting our focus to creating learning pathways that take learners through that journey. So when you come to the Learn Web, uh, WordPress website, what you're seeing here now is a demo of the site redesign happening right as we're speaking. You'll see the first thing you're introduced to at the very top is, who are you? Are you a user? Are you a designer? Are you a developer? Are you a... Uh, contributor. And depending on who you are, we will have learning pathways catered to your needs, your, your skill level, to help you move up to the next skill level. I am proud to announce that the beginner WordPress user learning pathway, the first learning pathway on Learn, was published last month, and already we are seeing an increase in traffic to Learn um, because of this learning pathway. Uh, so the beginner WordPress user learning pathway, this is the learning pathway you as an agency can share with your clients when you hand them the website you just built. You can give this course to them, and that will walk them through um, these initial steps that every WordPress user has to go to in order to be able to use the site. Getting started with WordPress, what is it exactly? G gain a familiarity with the WordPress interface. What is site editing? What is content creation? the basics of security, spam, and backups, SEO, and finally, where can you get help if you get stuck? This is the QR code to the um, beginner WordPress user learning pathway. I will pause for just a moment so you can take a picture of this. Um, as anything else in open source, it is completely free. You can give this out to as many people as you need. You can go through it yourself. Um, there are just, there's just under three hours of content in the beginner learning pathway here. So somewhere between two and a half and three hours um, to just get you up to speed with the basics of WordPress so then you can dive into your site and actually create the content. Take your time. I will, I will wait for people to lower their hands. So if you need to take a picture, go ahead. Again, it's three hours of content, so don't start going through it now. Wait, wait, wait another, what? 10 minutes until my presentation is over, and then you can start. Um, but we are really excited. There will be uh, four learning pathways published by the time the site redesign launches next month. Uh, we have three more learning pathways scheduled to be published by the end of the year. And then we'll have, again, another five to 10 learning pathways published next year. So the training team are really excited to get this out. Oh, here we go. Nine learning pathways have been mapped. So we have the curriculum built out for the first nine learning pathways with more to come afterwards. Our first audiences are users, developers, and designers. Um, and we have beginner, intermediate, and expert learning pathways for them. For developers, we split it out even further. So for plugin developers and theme developers. Um, so there's a lot of interesting content coming. I won't go into detail here, but something else we're doing with the site redesign next month is um, simplifying the site architecture. So what you see on the left is what Learn has been. What you see on the right is the site we're becoming. Um, you'll notice on the left, there are the, the pink boxes are pages. And so there's a page at the bottom. You have to click through four pages before you can finally reach. What's even worse is there are two pages on the right there which aren't even in the main site tree. So really, that is a, really, it's a terrible site architecture. Um, but what we have on the right is a much more simplified architecture which will help our users find the content they are looking for. 
We are redesigning the site to make it user-centric. Um, so we have been researching other educational websites out on the web, um, and we are taking learnings from how they design their websites, and we are importing those, well, importing those ideas into Learn um, to make it visually appealing and clear guidance for people when they land on the site. And finally, we want to do further development based on data. So this whole site redesign is actually based on data as well. The training team uh, two years back took an individual learner survey where we surveyed over 500 people all across the globe about their learning needs and how best they learn. And from that, we, that's how we identified these learning pathways were the biggest need the community needed. Um, and so we use data to make these informed decisions to redesign the site, but we really want to continue using data from here on as well. Um, understand what content users are really appreciating, what they're learning from, what they're engaging with, um, etc. So this is where Learn WordPress is today, and we need you. Once again, Learn WordPress is one of the four big gateways that WordPress users join the WordPress community. This is really important because, as we heard in the keynote this morning, open software needs to be sustainable. And if that community continues to shrink, uh, the su sustainability of the project diminishes as well. So learn WordPress. We want to help WordPress users understand WordPress and use WordPress, but we also want to show them how they can contribute back to WordPress and join the community also. In order for uh, the training team to do this, we are looking for talent. We are looking for people that have any of these skills. You can be a script writer. You can be a content creator. You can be a reviewer, a video editor, a translator, a designer, a developer, a marketer, an SEO specialist, an accessibility specialist, or a data analyst, or even just a tester to go through the content and give us feedback about how we're doing. The biggest way you can help the Learn WordPress initiative is, first of all, spread the word about the Learn WordPress relaunch. Learn WordPress has been around for a couple, around four, three, four years now, but we are doing a whole site makeover, and we'll be relaunching next month. Um, so get the word out that this great thing is coming. Um, the beginner learner word, user learning pathway is a taste of what you can expect, um, and then. Join the training team. Come and join us. We have a, a lot of tasks that go into creating high-quality content, and we need your help in order to do that. So you want to get involved. What should you do next? This is the second and last QR code I'll be sharing in my slide presentation. So again, you can take your photos. Um, the training team has an onboarding program to guide you into each of those tasks I showed on the previous slide. If you want to get involved, come and take this onboarding program. For those who don't have a smartphone, the URL is make.wordpress.org slash training slash handbook slash getting hyphen started. So take this training team um, onboarding course. It will tell you where we communicate, how we communicate, what the team's visions are, the different areas of contribution. And actually, by the end of onboarding, you would have made your first contribution to the Learn WordPress project. Um, so please, go ahead and take this onboarding program. If you're already part of the WordPress Slack, you will find us in the training channel. So you can come into the training channel, let us know what your experience was going through Learn WordPress, give us your feedback. We are always open to hear what you thought. And so I return to that very first slide I shared. Learn WordPress is one of, if not the most, exciting project in the WordPress um, that you can get involved with today. Um, I, I'm Ben Evans. It's been a pleasure speaking to you, and I look forward to seeing you in the training team. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ben. That was a wonderful, wonderful insight in what uh, a lot of people are going to need. Yes. Learn mm -hmm. WordPress. Um, we have the opportunity to have some questions. So the microphones are to the left and right. Um, first one's already up. Please introduce yourself and. 
Hello, thank you. Uh, my name is Torbjörn Fjellner, or just Tobi. I'm uh, a global mentor for the Polyglots team. Uh, so I have at least two questions for you. Number one, um, how much content do you already have in other languages than English? And what languages? And second question is, of course, how we can uh, streamline the translation process. I see now and then requests for translation review that seem to be hanging and there seem to be a hurdle sometimes of things happening perhaps too much on the GitHub and so on. Yep. So the first question was how much content is already translated? I, sorry, I don't have the number in my mind right now, but there are about 20 languages represented on Learn WordPress. Um, so 20 languages that have at least one piece of content translated. Um, the difficulty is, for example, a video piece of content is a lot more difficult to translate than a text piece of content. Um, so something we're encouraging uh, translators to work on at the moment is to host online workshops in their own language. Um, so these are interactive live sessions, um, almost like meetups, local meetups, but hosted online. Um, at the moment, Japanese is actually the most um, active in this. We have one or two, uh, I think, a uh, on Japanese online workshop every month or two happening. We have Bengali online workshops happening. We've had Greek online workshops in the past. Um, so if you are interested in producing content for Learn, I'd say right now, the most impactful way to do that is by hosting an online workshop. And if you take our onboarding program, we'll tell you how you can get involved with that. Um, ideally, we would love to see uh, online courses translated as well. And so we are currently looking into installing a translation plugin on Learn, um, even as a quick way to, um, until phase four of Gutenberg development, some way we can translate content now. Um, that is, again, there's a GitHub issue open, it's working, it's being processed. Um, so that is the next step. So online workshops are the most impactful, and then we should be able to translate con courses soon. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Laura Byrne. I'm from the United States. I'm a uh, meetup and WordCamp organizer, and I've been working with WordPress since 2006, so I think that makes me a pioneer. Um, I don't think I've seen such a lucid and well thought out presentation uh, oh. for people who are not coders mm. to contribute. Thank you for that. Mm. I think this is also a great way for the new folks to get on board. Um, as somebody who's primarily a content creator, bravo. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just always thinking about the new people who mm. come into my meetup, and they have questions, and they don't know what something is called. And it's awfully hard to find the resource when you don't know the name of the thing you want to do. Mm. Is there some thought of a glossary or a contact us? I'm always struck by the fact there is never a simple CTA, contact us anywhere mm. in WordPress.org. Granted, that makes more work for volunteers. Mm. But for those newbies coming in for ground zero, what are the thoughts of the people who are brand new, never been there, and are just here saying, help me? Yep. What are some of the thoughts? Yeah, so I introduced the outline of the beginning user learning pathway, and you saw the last module there is how to get help. I think online courses miss that step often, um, and so we made sure we included that there. W what you just mentioned gave me a thought that what if somebody needs help before they get to that last module? Um, and I, I think that's something we can actually look into. Um, again, there's concerns about making more work for volunteers and how we would do that, um, but that's an idea I would, I would love to take back to the training team and see what ideas they have. Um, each of our content has a uh, a give us feedback link in the content. So if you found like an error or an outdated screenshot or something, we've tried to make it easy for people to let us know about that. Uh, but if just having a glossary even sounds like a really good idea, a glossary on Learn, I think that's something we can definitely consider. So thank you for the idea. And thank you for the compliment as well. I myself aren't a, a developer either. So I I'm glad you appreciated the presentation and the different pathways that we introduced there. So thank you. Hey, hello. Uh, first of all, I'm very happy that WordPress invests a lot of resources inside uh, education. Um, 
and it looks amazing. Uh, the question is regarding more like um, whether WordPress considered to create like certificates, like for example, AWS doing or Magento doing to help like the hiring process or HR or uh, customers to, to be able to identify whether someone done the learning path and, uh, and is like, you know, you know what to do. Yep. Um, so have we considered certifications um, once they've taken the content? Um, so at the moment, if you complete a, a course on Learn, your WordPress.org profile actually lists that you have completed that course. Like a badge, yeah. Like a badge, yeah. So um, all the courses you take are recorded there. Um, certification is definitely a conversation that has come up. It has come up, from what I understand, even before I joined the training team, it's a topic that has come up a number of times. It is a great idea, and if we're going to do it, we want to do it great. Um, and so this is definitely something we need to continue talking about. I think the site redesign and the introduction of learning pathways is a way to build up to that potentially in the future. Until now, we haven't had a structured pathway for people to learn to, to even then consider certifications at the end. Um, so the learning pathway is the way of us organizing the learning journey for a user. And I think once we launch this and get user feedback, then we can always revisit certifications and see what we can do next. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, if there are no more further questions, uh, thank you again, Ben, for a wonderful presentation. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> thank you.